Well, here I am with the 2019 Beta 500 RRS. As you can see, do a kind of a walk around with the IMS core foot pegs. Thank you to IMS for sponsoring me so I could have those on this bike while I had it as a loaner. The IMS three gallon fuel tank, awesome. And also thank you to Jeff at New Tech Tubeless for the tubeless system that worked perfectly on the rear. I had one from the brother-in-law I tried to put on the front. It sprung a leak even with the new inner bladder. I didn't want to de deal with it. It's probably user fault. I don't know. I didn't want to look into it. But here's the bike. Also a huge thank you to Moto Adventure for uh, getting the bike in, taking delivery, and making sure it was good to go. I will also say thank you to Apex Sports in Colorado Springs for the helping me get the stator cover there that I replaced and I ended up fixing the leak although you can kind of see maybe on video it's still a little wet not sure where that's seeping from I sealed it pretty good it's a lot better than it was they did some bolt up top I don't know if it was that black bolt right there or what the deal was well isn't that the chain tensioner maybe I don't know they said there was a bolt up there that they had to get to. Uh, might be behind those wires. And they put some RTV on it. I still think it slightly leaks, but it's a lot better than it was. Also, a huge thank you to Highway Dirt Bikes for hooking me up with these awesome guards. As you can see here, they have the fold out mirrors. So that was a huge thank you there. And here it is. So Paul at Highway Dirt Bikes now has the measurements for this bike. As you can tell, there's bikes every single year. There could be differences. So he tells you to measure from the center and from there to there, the center of the bolts. And basically, he then will tell you if he has one or he'll he'll make one that works for it and maybe you'll you'll be lucky and go get a discount on a set or something for you know if he doesn't have your bike at all you know if it's some really oddball size but then once he has it he has it so so i think for changing the bike back to stock i'll just start with the highway dirt bike guards that's going to be the easiest thing switch back then I will go ahead and tackle the tank and then well the foot pegs are also really easy so I'm not going to bring you step by step I just just shown kind of like how the bike is right now and also the bike has on it let's get the key Here's all your menus. Okay, so the bike has 2,389.4 GPS odometer miles, vehicle odometer miles, 2,302.4. So not a huge difference. I mean, you get those differences because you're going up, right? When you're going up, you're not also registering outwards. So if you're doing a lot of single track, it's gonna be off. And there you guys go overall this bike has been a pretty good bike I mean it had its few negatives off the bat I mean there was a weird wire for from the cooling fan area that was routed and it melted on the radiator I went around one of the brackets and it just melted and shorted out which takes out I believe it took out probably the headlight it took out the cooling fan it took out the electric start so I had, I could only bump start it. <laughs> Luckily the bike is really easy to bump start, but I had to make sure to stop on top of hills. And also the cooling fan, and it was a hot day. 
and that was a big worry, a big concern we had. Uh, so I had to let the bike cool down from time to time because I was on single track at the time. So that was an annoyance, but it was easily fixed at camp by taking off the fuel tank and diving in and finding right away, oh, here's the short and you know fixing fixing that wire i can't remember why the horn's not working the other negative when you're on single track you're going to really want a different size rear sprocket i think in some of my videos i said it was a 50 tooth i bought but i was mistaken here it is and right there it was a 52 tooth so a 52 tooth rear sprocket makes this thing a lot more single track ready however that also will bring in your rear wheel a lot closer into the swing arm which means if you have a big tire like this um, tusk recon hybrid it could slightly rub in here and wear this out um i only had that for a little while like that so it might be a little thin not a huge deal but yeah some people actually i've heard take that off or so I read on the beta Facebook page. I don't know. Some positives of this bike. Well, I would say positives are it has power. It's good for dual sporting. It does work really, really well. And once you kind of fix this rear sprocket for single track, put on a bigger tank, go with the four gallon IMS tank. Because even the three gallon, these things love to drink fuel. It's just too small and it becomes your shrouds around here too which help protect the radiators so you don't have to get radiator guards and all that stuff now some people say for the cooling issues change out the fan to a better fan and that will help you cool also use like engine ice or Evans and that will also help you I don't know I didn't try that However, they cut this rear fender. These, just from wobbling, going over whoops, <laughs> the weight of them broke. I actually plastic welded and fixed that one. I went for a ride and just going over the bumps. It recracked, and not only that, this side recracked. I don't, I don't know. They can, when I turn this in, they can figure that out and fix it. I obviously need to wash the bike still from yesterday's ride. But I want to change the parts over first just to get that done because I'm imagining the fuel tank is going to be the pain in the butt. I'm back with the Beta 500 RRS and you can have a look for yourself here. It's back to stock. Took off the registration sticker and all that good stuff. The IMS sticker. Stock peg back on. Everything back. Stock tank. Doesn't leak. I put some fuel in it, you know, so they can test it out. Now I didn't correct the, the broken blinkers because they're just gonna keep breaking. They just need to put some flush mounts or something. It, I didn't cut the fender. That's how Beta gave it to me. So I'm gonna figure that's not my problem. Those stocks are too heavy for the thin bit of plastic. When you're actually riding the bike, like a real rider going somewhat quick over whoops and stuff. I was nice and I moved this switch over to the key spot. Plenty of wire, easy enough to do. It just cleans up the bars. One less thing up there in this way. The person's not going to hit it and it's out of the way and it fits perfectly around the key. That's what a lot of people on the beta sites say they do and it does work. So I did that for free, you know, just to be nice. Um, I'll let them worry about the Moto Adventure stickers for Apex because those are heavy duty ones. I'm not going to heat that up that much to try to get those off. They can mess around with that. As you can see, back to the bars. I did take the memory card out. I have to get my files. Actually, that one's my memory card. I'll put back in their 4 gig card and that would be good to go. Key is back to its spot mirrors are on obviously they gave me permission to put on the highway dirt bikes which means you know that on both sides but so be it i'm sure the person's going to put on some sort of bark buster so 
whatever. It's not going to make a difference really. I put back on the chain guard and just cleaned the bike, went over it really good. Spent like a couple hours freaking cleaning it. It's still not perfect. I don't know how they get it perfect in dealerships. They probably have a high pressure heat power washer, you know, one that will heat up the water. They make those, they're very expensive. I don't know, because I used the toothbrush and got into the nooks and crannies, and it's as good as I can get. I think it's pretty dang good though. I mean, obviously I rode the bike. I mean, you're gonna have wear spots like that. That's from my boot, nothing I can do. You know, up here the knob, that's war. Oh yeah, and that was one of the things uh, right from beta, it fell off. <laughs> So I had a, they sent me a new one to put on because it just was loose and fell off, right? Like on the second ride or something. I don't know, I talked about it. Put back on their hand guards here. Yeah, I mean, this is how I got the bike. So I cleaned the air filter. I did not do the uh, clutch oil or the transmission oil because I figured they're probably going to do that anyways. They're probably not going to take my word for it. And I did it not that long ago. I probably only have like four or five rides on it. I don't even think I have that long of rides on it. But whatever. They'll, they'll probably want to do the fluids just to do the fluids, I would think. Assuming they fixed the leak. I really hope you like all the videos I've made with this bike. I hope it, you know maybe you want to buy one now or maybe you don't but you know at least you guys see the bike you guys see the bike in various terrain settings from dual sporting to single track that can help you decide what bike might be right for you i think this is a very good dual sport bike i would say it's more of a dual sport bike than buying it for the single track it's more hey i need something to, when i'm on the highway to go 75 85 and you know keep up with traffic but i really like the bike it is a lot of fun and it does handle the single track the engine does run a little hot though so you'll feel that heat on a hot day you'll really feel that heat i hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe check out my other videos the riding videos hit that notification bell also check out the amazon affiliate link because that really helps the channel out and it's a win-win for both of us Everyone take care and stay well, my friends. Have a good one. Bye.